Just a moment. <laughs> Just a minute. Alright, so I'm a bit sleepy. You know, a little bit out of it. Perfect time to stream some Spongebob. You know, I think. Hmm. Hmm. It was it's weirdly quiet. I swear it was louder a minute ago. It might be that I'm using this headphone splitter so the signal decreases in strength or something. Either way, no big deal. At least I assume no big deal. plan to finally steal the Krabby Patty formula. And if Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in the process, oh well. <laughs> With my brand new Duplicatotron 3000, I'll clone an army of robots that will wreak mayhem and destruction at my command. One last review of the checklist. Let's see. Item number one is Plankton a genius? Answer, yes! Okay, checklist complete. Throw in the switch! Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army. Hang on, I want to get a photo for my scrap... Oh, hey, hello? What do you think you're doing? Oh, no, 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 wait, wait! But I'm your master! I made you! 
No! No! Oh, my good China! Another perfect day playing robots and racehorses. Yeah, only I keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I'd name mine Robo Junior, or Zorlon, or maybe Frankie. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you. I, 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 I. It's not just any shell. It's my magic wishing shell. Wow, that's great, Patrick. So we put the toy robots in here. Okay. Then we say the magic wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning, we'll have real robots to play with. But Patrick, Aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did. So, okay is the magic wishing words? It used to be Alakazama, Alabala, Wisna, Tikitana, Fushbar, Griddle Bits, Von Wiedeschnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure Griddle Bits. Work? Sure. Last week, I only had one big cookie crumb, and I was really hungry. So I put my cookie crumb in the magic wishing shell, then I said the magic wishing word and shook it, and in the morning, I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. The next morning... <laughs> Gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Wow! Uh, Gary, did you do that? Oh, uh, I don't know what you're talking about, Langton. This is the first time I've ever streamed this. But I mean, if, yeah, Gary, in theory... It sure looks like we're in a doozy of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. Wow! What a fantastic idea! The, um, how do I read the signs? Meow. Oh, okay! Meow. So if I want to come back and talk to you again, just walk up to you and press this button! I'd better get started now, Gary. I think that this is going to be a very long day. Alright, but yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. This is the first time I've ever streamed this, so... But I mean, if there was in theory a part before this, then yes, it would be up there. Also, you know, licensed games kind of get a bad rap sometimes. A lot of them are lazy, kind of uh, effortless, not a lot of fun. But, you know, sometimes there's exceptions, and I think this game is one of them. It's not flawless, but I think it succeeds where a game needs to and that it's fun to play around with. Breaking news! Bikini Bottom residents have been attacked by a raging torrent of robot horror! So much for fixing this quietly. <laughs> Authorities are not sure who is responsible for unleashing the mechanical menaces, but they have assured us that the person is in big, big trouble! Uh-oh. Did I say big trouble? I meant so enormous that it's hard to comprehend trouble. We'll keep you posted as this tragic story unfolds. Tragically, we're sure. Huh, weird. It could be due to that uh, filter I put on it. So yeah, feel free to nitpick. I... No, no, genuine, genuinely though. Uh, how much would you say it's behind? 
Like, I, I can fix this, but, uh... No, wait, you said the video, the audio came first. The audio came first? That's weird. Hmm. Hang on just a minute, and I'm gonna restart the capture device and see if that fixes it. Uh, this is a regular, legit stream, just having technical difficulties. All right, tell me if it, tell me if that fixed it. All right, great. So I don't have to fiddle too much. That's good news, I like to hear that. Anyway, sorry for the delay. And now this is kind of the tutorial area. You know, in a sense. A note from Mr. Krabs. And it even smells sweaty, just like him. Ahoy there, SpongeBob. As a faithful crew member of the Krusty Krab, you've been, er, promoted to head shiny object collector. Wow! A promotion! That's right! A promotion! So what this here new job entails is you collecting all these shiny objects that the robots are leaving behind and bringing them to me. Now stop seahorsing around and get busy collecting. Yeah, they didn't quite get all the voice actors here. But he's trying his best. Don't really need to read most of these tutorial signs because, you know, I've played this game before. Definitely not recently, of course. But I have played it before. And you kind of don't need to go back here. But, you know. Oh my god, I didn't even notice that. Zero out of ten. Oh, that was a bit weird. Oh, I... Uh... I don't... I hope y'all heard that. I'm telling you, I need a lock. Anyway, the one tutorial I will make an exception for. SpongeBob will lose a pair of underwear every time he gets hit by a robot or touches dangerous objects or surfaces. Like this. And it's basically telling me that there are heart containers, so to speak, or more like underwear containers, hidden around the game. 
That greeny stash was my grandmother, who has absolutely no sense of privacy whatsoever. Oh yeah, I remember the Spongebob comics. There was like one of them that like took the crap out of the free comic book day. Or something like that. Physics ball. Bizarrely hard to get up there. Oh my god. There we go. Alright, now we gotta rush. We're in a big time rush. Haha, uh -huh, anybody remember that? I hope not. I wonder what the sock is for. It sure is nice that, you know, SpongeBob didn't spoil it that I know of. I mean, not that I knew he was gonna do that, of course. And that's basically just explaining what the golden spatulas do. They're basically the stars of this game. Alright, but I, I will... I see my own big time rush and I will raise... Wait, hang on. Ah, uh, there's nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. SpongeBob, you're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. They even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's terrible. Oh, won't you help me stop them before they bend all my forks? Not the forks. Of course I'll help. But wait, I'm supposed to collect a whole lot of golden spatulas. Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you could get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. You've got a deal. So yeah, like I was saying, I see my own big time rush and I will raise the Naked Brothers Band. Why I remember this, why I even care to bring it up, I don't know. Maybe we'll never know. Also, a funny thing happens when you try to go out of bounds in this game. Yeah, you get that nice analog stick clicking. Unavoidable for the time being. SpongeBob, this flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab means no more fry cooking for you. <laughs> no more fry cooking? But because you're gullible, I'm gonna help you out. And of course, make a small profit in return. I've got a few golden spatulas that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. You will? Of course. What are employers for? Besides, them shiny objects is worth lots of money. 
Your treasure chest's looking a bit light. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure I could get it a little bit better, but honestly, for the time being, uh, it's just probably too much work for an $80 mic or somewhere around those lines. You know, I could, I could put that money towards more game, probably. One problem is I, I'm kind of having the headphone off uh, one of my ears because I don't yet have a volume control thingamajig for one of these, so... So it's a bit hard to regulate my own volume when the game's as loud as it is. Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Well, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. You know, I could probably turn this to the right a little bit. Or to the left. Yeah, that's a bit better, I think. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. And now that we're in Patrick's house, we have to destroy his property. Don't worry though, it's just saying. And now, we must get the single most important golden spatula of the entire game. First, those stupid robots ruined a perfectly oh God, relaxing mud bath this morning, and now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game and- Oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. Ha! <laughs> ha! Move to another town. Ha! I cracked me up. <laughs> but seriously, just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. Hey! Okay, 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 just stop jumping, will you? If you take this golden spatula, will you please go away? See, Squidward, I knew that you could help me out. You're the best. Don't touch me. Alright, now that we've done that, it's time to go to the first level of the game. Oh no, wait, that's not right. Alright, alright, I'll, uh, I'll fess up everybody. I'm redoing this because, frankly, the audio on the original first part was kind of abysmal. And I feel like this game deserves a little bit better than that. Because, like, for real. Hey, SpongeBob! I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand! Bubble buddy! You see, you're going to need to learn some new bubble blowing moves if you're going to journey to the ninth dimension and defeat the giant monkey man! But, uh, all I need to do is figure out how to get rid of these robots. Oh, yeah, sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Where were we? Uh, something about new bubble moves. Right! 
press this button and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you. Try it out! And yeah, basically when we see uh, Bubble Buddy later in the game, he will give us new moves. Kind of like Banjo-Kazooie a little bit, which I will compare this game to quite a bit. And also a little bit Crash Bandicoot. I, I'm sure you can see why. What? Nothing happened. Ah, the rolling green hills of jellyfish fields. A place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Well, your nose does look pretty big. I mean, bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> <laughs> King Jellyfish! Well, I guess you're off to scale Sport Mountain and die a horrible death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here, balled up here in excruciating pain. You do that! Don't worry, Squidward! I'll bring back that King Jellyfish jelly for you to rub all over yourself. All right, so first area of the game, Jellyfish Fields. Uh, I got like about halfway through here last time. But you know, we're gonna do it again. Shouldn't take too long. But I feel like, you know, consider this the Blu-ray version of the original part one. This is kind of the warp thing, like the like the banana port whatever from DK64 which I will not be comparing this game to, which I will not be comparing this game to very much You can also uh, teleport to missions that you've already discovered. Wait, hang on. So there's a few types of fast travel in this game. So yeah, this game... You know, probably not a lot of useless backtracking. And this is a toll booth clam thing. You have to pay shiny objects to it. And last time I tried to bypass that. If you use the hand glitch, which I don't think I have active. Yeah, I don't. You can actually just jump down and grab that. But yeah, there is a uh, glitch where you can actually disable bottomless pits and then eventually you can also do that with out of bounds areas. So you can skip a large portion of the game that way. But you know, I, I wouldn't be playing this if I was intending to skip most of it.
Uh, this game is on PS2, the original Xbox, and GameCube. I am currently playing the GameCube version. It's multi-platform, basically. Now, I tried to do a little bit of this last time, but I kind of want to try again and see if I can actually skip the clam. Because it's like, you can just barely, you can just barely, like, miss it. So, I am pretty confident there must be some way to do it. Now, whether or not I'd be able to figure it out. I don't think these have any collision, so you can't really use that. You might have to use like a boost, boost technique, which I don't have the moves available for. I'll try one more time and then... I'm sorry, I'm, I'm stubborn. What can I say? Yeah, very close, but no cigar. Oh well, what can you do? Also, a cool feature of this game, as I mentioned in the last time I streamed it, is that Spongebob kind of changes expression depending on, like, enemies being nearby. So that's pretty neat. You don't see that very often in games, to be honest. So it's a neat feature, I think. So fine, we'll, play, we'll pay the clam. Or feed the clam. The clam somehow has power over the airplane. Kind of a loud freaking waterfall on my end. Um, excuse me for a moment. Hold on just a moment. Oh jeez. Alright, I'm back. And this is a item we can only use as Patrick a little bit later in the game. Not not a whole lot. There are a few playable characters in this. SpongeBob's the main one. And you kind of got your two secondaries, uh, Patrick and Sandy. I should have jumped on that. Can't really move with this move. Yeah, can't really do that. But yeah, Patrick and Sandy are your two secondary playable characters. You only tend to get access to one of the two per level. And, spoilers, in this level it's Patrick. But Sandy is introduced not long afterwards. Pardon.
I know I'm kind of doing that, you know, let's play cliche of just kind of explaining the game, but you know, I like people to know what's going on. Like, see, right there, I was an idiot. That was what was going on. You know, honestly speaking, I don't think I realized until recently just kind of how noisy the GameCube controller is. Like, you know, I've been playing with Xbox and Super Nintendo. I don't think I've really put it into perspective. So there's kind of these bungee jump segments in this game. And that's about the extent of it. Yeah, that was the bungee jump segment. I hope you enjoyed it. Because <laughs> it's over now. I never said they were extensive bungee jump segments. I just said they existed. Well, I mean, Super Mario 64 hacks are fun. There's a, a Super Mario 64 DS hack that i kind of been wanting to stream by the guy who did Super Mario 64 Star Road called Mario's Holiday. It seems pretty good, and he has a patch to... Well, not so much a patch as it is a utility to kind of make the controls suck a little bit less. Like Mario 64 DS, they... They tried to fake it, you know, a little bit with the D-pad. They wanted it to kind of feel like it was analog, but it's, it's not. And, you know, that's kind of unavoidable, really. And as I said last time, this is a mission we have to come back for. It requires a move you get later in the game. But yeah, Mario 64 hacks tend to be kind of cool, even if a lot of them don't really work on real hardware, I don't think. Which is really a shame. I wish... I wish that wasn't the case, but then again, I guess new 3D Mario, even if it's only on PC, is still pretty cool. Alright, that was a good, good AI right there. Excellent pathfinding. I feel like a new sponge. Meaty slap both chuckle. There you go, Langton. See, it's like nothing, nothing even happened. There was no first part. This is the first part. Um, I'd say in general, I think Last Impact is a little bit better because Star Road has some really like, well, they both kind of have some bull crap in them, but I think, you know, that plus, that plus kind of the advanced, like, I don't know if I'd say ASM editing in Last Impact just makes it really cool, though. The creator is working on a new version of Star Road ported to Super Mario 64 DS called Star World. Um, and you know, I'm interested in seeing how much that improves. I had a, 
He is redoing it, much like I am redoing this stream. I'd be interested in, you know, maybe streaming that when that comes out, if anybody would be interested. I mean, in general, I'm probably going to play it either way, so, you know, if, if anybody's interested in seeing me go through that, then, you know, I'll do it. Okay, prepare for voice actor. Hey, huh? What? Oh, yeah, it's that sponge kid. And now, what was I supposed to tell you? That Cadric is surrounded by robots and needs my help. Huh? Oh, no. I think it had something to do with massaging my feet. Well, if massaging your feet will save Patrick, then massage I must. Help! They're making me hit myself! Massaging your feet isn't working. I think I'd better try a more direct approach. By clipping my toenails? Here I come, Patrick! Hey, he tried his best. Alright, Mario 64. Except instead of like hillbilly slide music, we got like rock slide music. Oh yeah, it seems like I have at least two people here who'd be interested in seeing that, so yeah. I, I'd probably consider doing it. I, I really like uh, the 3D Mario games, so more more of an excuse to do those is fine by me. Just while we wait for Nintendo to make Odyssey 2, 3, and 4. Yes, I demand not just a sequel, but three sequels. I'm serious. No, I'm not that serious. Maybe, maybe one. I'd like a Galaxy 2 for Odyssey. Which, you know, out of context is maybe a bit of a weird statement, but... You know, I just, I would like just something that's just a little more Odyssey. Then again, they could just do DLC. You know, this is the modern era after all. I mean, as long as it's substantial DLC, I don't see a problem. And, I'll be honest, if... You know, I've had my gripes with Nintendo lately, but they've been doing some pretty decent DLC. Nintendo doesn't tend to just, you know, throw out skin packs or, you know, just really lame stuff. Like, most of the DLC they've done has been at least fairly substantial, like Breath of the Wild and Mario Kart. Even though, you know, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe has the DLC by default, so, you know. You'd think I'd be a bit madder about that, but I'm, I'm not, really. Part of me is just kind of happy that there's more Mario Kart, you know? Never can have too much Mario Kart. Hey, SpongeBob. Woo. Thank goodness you're safe, Patrick. Well, of course, SpongeBob. Why wouldn't I be? Well, the robots and the- Oh yeah, I found this for you. I don't know what it is, but it looks important. Thanks, Patrick. I tell you what, all that running around has left me pooped. Why don't you continue on for a bit? Okay. But yeah, I, I really enjoyed Odyssey. Maybe it's just because I had become a bit jaded with Mario recently. And... I, uh... You know, I thought Mario had been losing a bit of its character. So, you know, even if Odyssey is maybe not, like... I'd say Odyssey maybe isn't, like, super innovative, but it's just what it lacks in that it makes up for in just being really freaking solid. It's, it's just a well-built game, I feel, you know? With, with loads of character, and that's all I really needed. And this is how you switch characters. I said that last time. And Patrick's main gameplay mechanic is that he can pick up and throw stuff. 
mostly these fruit, but also, as we'll learn in a bit, enemies. Oh, and you can also do these catapult teeter-totter things. And like I said last time, this is part of the reason that I compare this to Crash Bandicoot. The spin move and the exploding tiki. Uh, that flower just takes us back to where we were before. of having to assist you. I was in an undesirable position yesterday, and now my neck hurts. Heed my words, my large future minion. Go into Jellyfish Cave. Follow the instructions on the signs that you see. At the end of the caves, you'll still be a big pink idiot, but you'll know enough to help defeat the robots and get me back into the chum bucket. Well, then will you vaporize me? I might spare your life so I can force you to work in my sweatshop, making low-quality design and knock-off wallets. Oh, thank you! Well, with that promising career ahead of us, we will now head into the cave. Oh, that was a mistake. You know, I think I might have done that same exact thing last time. If anybody knows, please confirm. Yeah, unfortunately, some of the character models and like animations in this are just a little bit off. So, I mean, I guess for a licensed game, the standards weren't set very high. Uh, what other fan games do I plan on streaming? Uh, I don't know. You know, kind of just play it by ear. I never actually completed Last Impact, so I've considered, like, replaying that on stream. Um... Uh, it could be worse, Langton. It could be Homestar Runner. Though they tried really hard with, uh... Strong Bad's cool game for attractive people. Oh yeah, probably Dimensions too. Uh, you know, Lord, sometimes there's just a lot of things in development. It's hard to keep track of them all. Um, what else? Uh, I don't know offhand, really. I mean, I do probably want to stream some more fan games and hacks and stuff, but, you know, the specifics besides what I've already said, you know, kind of, I'm kind of at a loss at the moment, unfortunately. But, you know, if you have any suggestions, I will be happy to take them. this machine. I swear, that's like, at this point, kind of the Duke Nukem forever of fan games. Though granted, I hope for the best with that. Oh yeah, I, I played uh, a, a little bit of Power Star Frenzy. 
pretty pretty polished pretty good but yeah uh i wish for those guys the best on my disc machine i know a lot of stuff gets redone maybe beyond necessity but i can understand what it's like to be a perfectionist more slide all right and this is the other mechanic oh yeah abducted toad I, I think I played through most of that but I wouldn't be like opposed to doing that again It's, it's been a little bit. Oh, well, March. <laughs> Alright, fun fact. Uh, I have a, I actually have a little story I can tell. Uh, basically, I mentioned during the beginning of the stream that I was a bit, you know, a bit sleep deprived. And you know, probably nothing new for me. Well, here's here's kind of the story behind that. It's it's kind of a funny story. Basically, I had an appointment with uh, I'm not sure what I'd call it, but it's kind of uh, sort of a it's a, I don't know, I don't know exactly how to explain it. Kind of like the like mental medication. Uh, the guy who prescribes that, basically. I forget the word. But basically, uh, we had an appointment for that. So, you know, I got up. Basically, I went to sleep at like, I ended up not getting to sleep till like five or something. And then, like, I got up at somewhere around eight, eight a.m. And we head down a few towns over to go to that, right? Thankfully, I'm not as sleepy as I could be. But yeah, we get down there. Turns out, the appointment was on the wrong day. We got the wrong day for it. How far off were, were we, you may ask? We were... <laughs> the appointment's not till next month. <laughs> also, thank you, Greeny Stash. Uh... You know, chipping away at it slowly. Ahoy there! Squidward tells me you're looking for the king jellyfish. Yes. Good thing, too. That monster has been stinging all my good customers in their poop decks. I hear that you can find him up top of Old Sport Mountain here. Go hook that beast, sailor! Oh boy, Mr. Krabs. I'll see what I can do. Aw oh, yeah, Mr. Krabs. Oh, new enemy. This is about where we were last time. So we've officially caught up. Gotta love how Sandy's is just a realistic squirrel. Anyway, this guy takes a couple of hits and he shoots projectiles, so he's more deadly than the other enemies we've seen so far. I think he causes a bit of trouble later in the game. My leg's falling asleep. I, I am getting the pins and needles. I am in pure agony. Badger can't do this. Hang on just a moment. <laughs> oh yeah, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> oh. 
Okay, we're we're working on it. Feeling is returning to leg. Slowly. Uh <laughs> I was in an undesirable position yesterday. No, my neck hurts. I'm gonna take this opportunity to open up my stream. Uh, my, uh, whatever you call it, my dashboard. On my phone. My Patrick impression's not very good. Alright, I've been streaming for about an hour, but we unlike last time, I do not have to stop to go eat dinner, so we can keep going. Feeling is returning to my leg. That, that happens to me a lot. I don't know if it's normal. I mean, I know your leg falling asleep is normal, but with this frequency, I don't know. Oh yeah, by the way, I'm assuming that uh, since I restarted it, it stayed roughly synced up. It was a weird issue, but I'm glad it became fixed so easily. I don't know, sometimes it happens when I have my legs crossed, sometimes it, it, you know, it doesn't. I don't really know. Sometimes it happens on the toilet. I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm supposed to do it that way. Oh, Mrs. Puff. Hello, Patrick. I've got a job for you to do. Oh, boy. I found a golden spatula, but those robots out on the island stole it and threw it into the lake. If you can figure out how to get it back, you're welcome to it. Show sure up, Mrs. Puff. So yeah, still synced up pretty good. I hope so. Hmm. That is very weird. That is very, very weird. Well, if it's just like a little tiny bit, I may leave it for a little bit. I'm gonna see. But that's it, it's very strange. Well, I mean, as long as it's not a lot, I may just leave it for right now. I'm not really sure what to do about it besides just, you know, constantly restarting. And, you know, obviously I don't really much care to do that. Yeah, this game is very faithful to the sponge feel. Well done, Patrick. You're a real star. <laughs> Can I get a cookie? No. And I guess we want to switch to SpongeBob, maybe. This is a weird mechanic. Just my 
Mrs. Puff is kind of a mess in this game. Like, like this is only the beginning. And this is another one that we can't actually get yet. So we're gonna have to come back for that. Yeah, I know Miles has been wanting me to stream a couple of the Chaos Editions. They're fun stuff, they're fun stuff. Still waiting on Battle for Bikini Bottom Chaos Edition. When are we gonna get that? I know Kay's Emanuel is working on it right now. Or Kaze, Kaze, I'm not sure which I said. I can't remember which of these is a side path, that's the, kind of the problem. I think that's where we were a second ago, unless I'm mistaken. We haven't seen more like Mario Sunshine hack. Oh yeah, I was trying to see how well I could stream Dolphin. But now for most games, since I have a capture card, that's kind of redundant. So, you know, sometimes I'll have to use a dolphin. Well, if we had Patrick still, we could, you know, use that. Oh, there's a sock over there. I wonder if you could uh, get it from here, but I'm almost afraid to find out. And we're gonna be heading that way anyway. Meaty whack! Oh, there's a sock over there. I don't know if this is going to be like a 100% run or anything, but I'm probably going to do most of the stuff, because that's just how I roll, man. It's just how I do things. I like to see 
most of what the game has to offer. And I, I think it's reasonable to assume that a lot of you feel the same way. But I could be mistaken. Oh, Patrick can use this fruit. I wonder is... There's probably something to this. I mean, I'm not Patrick right now, so... Oh god, the, the camera looking down is kind of nauseating. Like, horizontal, it's fine, but then you're just like... <clears throat> hey guys, let's play like this. Nah, I don't hate you guys that much. Yet. Top down, Bob. Oh, right, right, right. Can I do this? No. You know, this, this level is a lot bigger than I remember it being. I mean, this is all familiar to me, like I remember this level, this game, you know. But, uh... Um, uh, you know, I just don't remember it taking this long to finish. I'll be honest here. And if you look over there, you can see definitely not a 2D texture. How strange. Hmm. Problem is, I don't know if I can delay the audio. Is the thing. I can delay the video, but I'm not entirely sure. Well, hang on. No, actually, I can. Forget I said anything. Well, that wasn't so much moving the mic so much as I tripped over everything and died. So. Pardon. I mean, tell me how this is. King Jellyfish. Bubble 
nobody! Gosh, everyone is trying to help out today! Step quietly there. That king jellyfish is just up at the top of this path. Good luck! You'll need it. Thanks, Bubble Buddy. I like the low poly version of the level down there. I think there's supposed to be music for this. Jump the gun a little bit. Oh, now I'm dead. Oh yeah, there's the music. Okay, so he always does two, I think. But then it like starts back up here, which is also very strange. I'm gonna do more sliding. I missed the secret uh, pass. I mean, I guess you could probably jump off there, but I don't think that's what you're intended to do. Thank you. 
See, no problem. You can do anything you set your mind and your muscle to. I think he's supposed to tell you about that golden spatula up there, but he's not really equipped to... <laughs> like, if you already get it, he just alludes to something that you guys never talked about. I mean, you could... It could be that you're supposed to, like, jump from here. Alright, you gotta do it to the right, I think. Gotta find the source of this thing. Yeah, I guess you're supposed to jump, yeah, jump about here. Get another side. My best friend Squidward, can I rub some on? Uh, what if I just gave you this? And, uh, 100% clear, so I'm guessing the stuff we missed was just for socks? Something like that. Probably trade the socks to Patrick. Wow, SpongeBob, you found some! Now they're back home, safe where they belong! Here's the golden back scratcher. Spatula! I don't speak Italian. <laughs> Alright, so I think next chronological stage would be. Downtown Bikini Bottom over here. Downtown Bikini Bottom. Once a bustling metropolis, now a debris covered crater. SpongeBob, the robots are destroying downtown Bikini Bottom. We have to evacuate! All right, but it's gonna take a while to get all this dust. Not vacuum, evacuate! We have to get everyone to safety. Can we just load them up in the boats? That won't do any good. Why not? Because the robots have taken all the steering wheels. Couldn't we just drive in a straight line? No, there are too many turns. Those fiends, they thought of everything. Never fear, Mrs. Puff. I'll get those steering wheels back. SpongeBob, if you're involved, I always fear. But I tell you what, if you can pull this off, I'll give you a golden spatula. How about a driver's license instead? Nice try. All right, so there's these things scattered around the level. And you can become SpongeBob. Which is something you always want to do. Number one in the bikini bottom scavenger hunt. Three years running. This level, I think, is a bit more open than jellyfish fields.
Uh, there's a, a lot more options for things to do, I'd reckon. Come on. Sometimes pushing a simple button is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. I mean, this one, you could probably just, yeah, do that. <laughs> and then it hits it anyway. And this one too, you probably don't need to do the silly cannon thing. Kind of see low poly SpongeBob's house over there. Also, I'm pretty sure this is a new enemy, but we haven't actually found its introduction introduction spot yet. And there's a sock hidden back here. go the other way. This way isn't quite working out. We need to go the other way. It shines. Roll, roll, roll this part. Hidden tiki's just because. to defeat him. I guess this is how you're supposed to get the wheel. Oh, there's a sock up there. I know this isn't how you're intended to get it. I hereby command this particular drop of hot sauce will be really, really hot. Number one in the Bikini Bottom scavenger hunt. Three years running. Uh, thank you. Oh, and also, you can get these tiki's and have them blow up shortcuts. So yeah, that's good. You could probably like jump. Maybe not. Maybe not. And 
and I should probably do what you're actually supposed to do now. I remember there was something to this. Like we're gonna make a, a hack of this game that allows you full control while doing the high jump. And there's like things like that. And it's gonna be like the SpongeBob SquarePants tech edition. I mean, people speed run this game. I don't know if it's like a popular speed game, but I know people do speed run it. Like, I don't know, there's just something funny about hearing somebody talk in detail about, like, the t SpongeBob SquarePants tech, the taxi skip and whatnot. Okay, and I think this is where I go to get the sock. Hmm, I don't know if I can make that. Oh, well, I think my controller wigged the heck out. Did a double jump when I didn't really want it to, but whatever. Oh, uh... Thanks for telling me, fella. <laughs> yeah, the, <laughs> the Shrek Super Slam tier list. Like how apparently, push, 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 push. apparently, Little Red is in her own tier. Also, this doesn't count as being out of bounds, which is funny. This door is locked from the inside. Who would do such a thing? All right, that's all you really have to say. There's a sock over there. This is slippery for some reason. Oh yeah, that's right. There's like a... Like sort of a missile... No, what's it called? The... God, now, now I'm drawing a blank on the name. I think my sleep deprivation is kind of starting to show, but they're like the bubble missile. Uh, if you abuse it in just the right way, then it's possible to get a constant speed boost. And honestly, yeah, the speed game for this is kind of crazy. Cruise bubble, that's it.
man, crumpet dashing. And you know, again. Hi, Gary. Oh. Meow. Yes, thanks for noticing. I have been working out. Meow. Not done. Doesn't that mean? Meow. Oh, that's the entrance to the rooftops, which leads to the lighthouse. Aha! Uh -huh. There's another golden spatula. I could really use that. Meow. What do you mean, get Sandy to help me? I can get through this. Meow. Meow. Oh, that gap looks big. Okay, I'm definitely not making that jump. How is anyone going to get across there? Uh-oh, more robots. Holy Dutchman's ghost! That gap looks impossible! And impassable! Okay, okay, I'll go get Sandy to help me out. <laughs> So, Miles, you do know that we have to try net playing Shrek Super Slam, right? Pardon me. I feel like a new sponge. And now for the third playable character, Sandy. You know, she, she just kind of hanging around. You don't even like save her like you did with Patrick or anything. She's just kind of hanging out. She can lasso stuff and also get hit by get hit by things. <laughs> but yeah, she's basically, I think, the resident long distance uh, character. She's very good at doing things from afar. And also, she can kick and it stalls her air movement a little bit. Peas in a can pie. Oh, there's a sock up there. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to remember all these. Oh man, like, I feel like you could almost make that. I'm going to give it one more shot. Mm, just barely missing it. I already checked this, right? Oh, but there's something over there. Oh, just that, I think. But yeah, she can glide. She can lasso stuff. I already said that, I think. Very, very useful. I don't want to get this sock. Yeah, Sandy's, you know, in retrospect, Sandy's a little OP, I think. Though, I guess she's kind of like that in the show, too, so. I guess that's why you just don't mess with Texas. Or something. Oh, 
already forgot where that other sock was that I saw. Might have been on that. I don't know. I'll get the box. For easy, quick warping. Oh yeah, there it was. Can I swing this way? I think so. I don't know if they expected you to get on this. the sea needle too which is an optional area I believe it is anyway but you know let's go to the rooftops first oh, has it stayed synced up or has the desync gotten worse Hello, Larry. What's shaking? Sandy boy am I glad to see you I need your help. My TV reception has been terrible lately. I need to have someone replace my old antenna with this shiny new one. Yes, sir. That there antenna is shinier than a $3 bill. Well, why don't you replace it yourself? I'm not really much of a jumper. So, what's jumping got to do with it? Because the old antenna is up there. Alright. The robots have blocked off that building, and I can't do all those fancy moves you and SpongeBob do to get across these gaps. All I can do is flex! Wanna see? Yeah, great. Uh, so what are you gonna do with the old antenna? Oh, that? It's yours if you replace it with a new one. Well, I have been getting bad TV reception in the tree dome. Okay, Larry, you got a deal. When the sink is in trouble, you can call us on the double. Something about getting hooked on the brothers, yeah. But yeah, I guess I'll just have to look about that. That's supposed to be bird poop. But yeah, very strange, this whole capture farting business. Can you, like, jump on this? I don't think so. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> Either way, I got the sock. What's happening? Hey, Larry. is the most satisfying. Push, 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 push. Is it just me or did it block me from getting that? Yeah, it's like there's an invisible wall or something. 
Wait a minute. I don't think that... I don't think that was supposed to work. <laughs> I don't think I'm actually supposed to be able to warp through that yet. Yeah, there's like an invisible wall. Which is very silly. Here's an annoying enemy. Like, I mean, I guess I'm speedrunning this game now. Solution just lasso everything. This is this is what you do. Just lasso everything. Not sure how that worked. Oh, okay. Here's another one. I never said this was a bugless game. strategic about this. There we go. Alright, now here's where the box warped me to. And you can, uh, unlock a secret path like this. And that's how they want you to get it. Apparently my way wasn't good enough for them. We call ice cream frozen couches. You know, why do they have those shorts? Those are their shorts. Why are they up there? Here's 
another one. Well, I suppose it'll make Patrick happy. You know, I'm genuinely starting to find it a bit hard to know when I'm sequence breaking this. I don't know if that's a good sign. This way, I think so. Oh, no, let's not do that. Not do that if we can help it. All right now we're over here. Looking up, still nauseating. close to having all the wheels. Somehow I thought you could get up there. The, the whole underpants thing becomes kind of an awkward situation when you kind of factor that in. Because it's like you got two options here. Either she wears their underwear, which is disturbing, or they switch to her underwear, which is also disturbing. <laughs> so either way, it's kind of a lose-lose situation, isn't it? miniature sliding segment I guess okay just just to check this leads kind of back up here Okay, yeah, that's that's why that enemy's annoying. Luckily there's no lives in this game or anything. Pardon me. All 
How, how are we doing for that? Okay, so we're missing two socks. Okay, go to the lighthouse. Secrets. I think the joke was that the antenna was the golden spatula. kind of thing going on here. It was no thing. Seventeen spatulas. And there's another one of the wheels over there. Number one on the bikini bottom scavenger hunt. I could make a very tasteless joke here, but I won't. My leg is dying again. And now that we have that... I guess it's fitting that my leg would be in pain while I'm playing the SpongeBob game. You'll have to open this door from the inside. All right, so now we're back out to probably probably go to the sea needle uh, into the road. I don't think I ever got that. Well, I know I didn't get it. I don't know why I'm saying I don't think. I forget what that refers to though. Because wasn't it the one up there? I mean, must not be. All right, Dustin, so the next time you break your leg, just remember. I'm not sure where that is then. This probably just takes me to the start of the level. I guess I didn't do the explosives over there. 
I mean, I know there's something in the sea needle. Oh, either way, let's go to the sea needle. Well, actually, hang on. No, no, I gotta be sandy to make that. <laughs> okay, if you say so. is that there are tinkies and shiny objects just outside the windows. Mr. Krabs, how can you think of money at a time like this? Easy. I just clear my mind. Money. 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 Now listen here, boy. You know that I'll give you golden spatulas if you bring me shiny objects. But I'm going to sweeten the deal. If you can break all the tiki's here at the Sea Needle, I'll give you a bonus golden spatula. Why would I want to break the tiki's, Mr. Krabs? Uh... Because they were laughing at you and calling you funny names. What kind of funny names? Um, you know, SpongeBob Butt Pants. Butt Pants. That's not very funny. Uh, no. But they said your mom was ugly. Ugly? All right, Mr. Krabs, break them, I shall. You've got a deal. I will say this game has some pretty intense knockback. Do the tiki stay dead? No, they don't. Either that or I somehow got to a different one. Alright, now hopefully I will not die. Oh, and there's a steering wheel. Okay. 
And I think that's the last wheel. You know, that might be what that first spatula was. Well, judging by the fanfare, I'm going to assume that that's all I need to do. Good work, boy. Here's the golden I have exhibited my teleporting powers. And I know there's something we can do here later. Yeah, <laughs> the game outright just spells it out for you there. SpongeBob, <laughs> I'm impressed. How did you fight? How did you fight? Well, there were these robots. I met Sandy, and the lighthouse was okay. Okay, sorry I asked. Here's the golden spatula that I promised you. Thanks, Mrs. Puff. Now I'll help you guys evacuate. But SpongeBob, you don't have a driver's license. Oh, don't I? No, no you don't. Well, if I don't, then what's this? A library card. Oh. Alright, so that's basically that. And I think with all of that said and done, I think that would be a good place to probably stop it. Enjoy this audio.